Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Headbangers Closet. So I'm going to do my uh, a new video of Lost Classics of the 90s. This is my third installment in this this series, uh, this thread that's going on right now. We're having a lot of fun watching everybody's videos, um, especially Aaron's. Um, I think I'm missing the mark on these. And um, I just, what I'm showing isn't super rare. And that's kind of why I'm, I think I'm missing the mark. However, I've mentioned it in my two previous videos that I wasn't a big fan of a lot of what was going on in the 90s. Um, rock and heavy metal related. Still listen to a lot of the bands that were, came in the 70s and 80s that were putting out new stuff in the 90s, but there wasn't a lot of you know new bands I was really into that were coming out in the 90s. Um, but I'm having fun doing this series because I'm revisiting things I was listening to back then. And for the most part, these are albums I still listen to today. Um, so the third installment is going to be um, an album I thought was kind of overlooked because the one that came out before it was so amazing. And that's going to be Corrosion of Conformities, Wise Blood. This came out in 1996. Now everybody remembers the one before it. Deliverance, which came out in 1994, had huge radio airplay. The two singles, Albatross and Clean My Wounds. Um, and then a few years later, they released Wise Blood, which I kind of feel is overlooked, which is why I wanted to kind of feature it in this uh, video today. Uh, but I think it's a great album. It's not as good as Deliverance by any stretch of the imagination. That's just a masterpiece of a record, in my opinion. But this is also really, really good. Uh, same type of metal, you know, kind of slower, doomy, sludgy you know, Bayou metal. Um, I could listen to Corrosion Conformity with some of my friends. That was my first couple of years of college when uh, both these al albums came out and I could listen to some friends of mine that were really big into Pearl Jam and Alice in Chains and Nirvana. And a lot of the grunge bands I really didn't like. So Corrosion and Conformity was a little bit of common ground because they were like, dude, this isn't like super fast and thrashy. And I was like, well, fun fact, now that you mention it, there are earlier records and nobody was having any of that. Um, but I love Wise Blood, and when this thing was coming out, um, I think I read on the message boards. Now, I saw, actually, I saw Corrosion and Conformity open for Metallica on the uh, Poor Touring Me Tour with the Load album. It was this, uh, you know, late fall, early winter of 96 into the winter of 97. I went to, I think, like 13 or 14 shows on that tour and got to see Corrosion and Conformity open up, and they were awesome. Coming, you know, right off Wise Blood and Deliverance, that big one-two punch of those records was huge. Uh, the crowd was really into it, but like I said, a lot of people kind of forgot about Wise Blood. So we knew that James Hetfield and Keenan, uh, Pepper Keenan, were good pals, and somewhere along the message boards from Metallica, it was like, you know, James Hetfield's going to be playing guitar on one of their songs on the upcoming album, of Grosh Conformity. Turns out that song was Manor Ash, and I don't know if I can hear a ton of his guitar on it, but you can totally hear James, you know, his vocals on the on the chorus, which is really really cool. Uh, check it out. But uh, excellent album, um, standalone tracks, standout tracks to me is King of the Rot, which kicks off the record. Um, obviously, Manor Ash, Wise Blood, um, Born Again for the Last Time is really cool. Drowning in a Daydream is awesome. Um, a Snake Has No Head is kind of a cool cool tune but uh you know redemption city is a badass song overall great record like i said not as great as deliverance but solid album that i kind of feel gets overlooked when people talk about corrosion conformity so that's why i wanted to feature it on my lost classics of the 90s so hopefully you dig it uh hopefully you dig corrosion conformity because they're freaking awesome uh anyway appreciate everybody checking out the channel and hope all of you have a great weekend see you soon and i'll have another video for you guys soon all that jazz so anyway cheers guys